Hey everyone, my name is Wedge. It seems like Commander 2014 preview started early this year with an article being posted on the Wizards website Friday. We got to see two new cards, one of them dripping with so much lore I could die and the other bringing a whole new mechanic to the format. Between these two cards I'm already excited for the Commander decks, you'll see why. The first card we're going to talk about today is Angelic Field Marshal. Two colorless and two white for a 3-3 flying angel with a new mechanic called Lieutenant. As long as you control your commander, the marshal gets plus two, plus two, and creatures you control have Vigilance. There are so many reasons I love this card. The first one is that as long as you control your commander, this four mana card is a 5-5 five, five flyer that grants everything Vigilance, including herself. That's value. Second, that mechanic is amazing. Lieutenant is a perfect fit for the format. Even the name fits perfectly. The marshal has the ability called Lieutenant that applies to your commander. The military references are awesome. Not only that, but this ability is great across the board. Every deck wants their commander in play at some point. Giving you an additional benefit to play your commander sooner is very interesting. It could lead to completely different strategies. It could also lead to super swingy board states. Drop something like Lieutenant in the middle of a heated battle and everything shifts. This marshal grants vigilance, but think about all the other cool mechanics they could use. Lifelink, First Strike, Death Touch, the list is near endless. I love this mechanic a lot. The second card we're looking at is Felden of the Third Path. Wait, Felden, Felden, Fel. Wait a second, that Felden? The dude with the cane we never see? Felden, what's up man? Let's have a chat. Santa Claus is one colorless and two red for a 2-3 legendary creature human artificer. You can pay two colorless, one red, and tap him to put a token onto the battlefield that's a copy of target creature in your graveyard, except it's an artifact in addition to its other types. It gains haste and you sacrifice that at the beginning of the next end step. Okay, playability first. This card is clearly reminiscent of Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker. While being a bit slower than Kiki Jiki, Felden has all the pieces you need to be good. He's a legendary creature, he brings stuff back from the graveyard, those things get haste, and he turns them into artifacts. I shouldn't have to tell you how many ridiculous things you can do with this card. Honestly, don't make me tell you, it could take forever. He fits into graveyard-based strategies, artifact-based strategies, and are the battlefield trigger-based decks. I mean, it almost gives me a headache to try and think of how many different decks this guy goes into. Also, a few things to keep in mind. The tokens he creates trigger goes to the graveyard effects because you have to sacrifice them at the end of turn. Also, the creature he makes a copy of doesn't leave the yard either, so you can just keep using it turn after turn after turn if you aren't disrupted. With the boring strategy stuff out of the way, let's talk story. Felden was a simple, not so simple artificer who was married to a woman named Lauren. They lived on Terracere during the time of the Brothers' War. In fact, the Third Way was the name of the group of people who refused to pick sides between Urza and Mishra. Of course, that couldn't stand, so the Brotherhood of Gix betrayed them, went to Mishra, and told him all about their magic and power. Ashnod, Mishra's apprentice, along with a bunch of constructs, show up and tear Felden's home apart. He and Lauren are forced to separate. He escapes, but Lauren is captured by Ashnod and tortured for some time. Eventually, Lauren escapes. She and Felden live happily ever after until Urza uses the Golgothian Silex and sort of brings on an Ice Age. Shortly after this, Lauren dies. Felden, unable to deal with the loss of his wife, works tirelessly to create an automaton, or in other words, an artifact copy of her. He learns from a wizard that you can't bring people back to life, but you can bring images of them back. Felden successfully creates an automaton version of Lauren, but soon realizes that it really isn't her. It can't be her. Depressed, he removes the power stone from the automaton, letting its life fade away. He then brings the artifact to his wife's grave and leaves it there. Wow. Now that you know a bit of the story, look at the card again. You tell me this isn't the most flavorful card you've ever seen in the game of Magic. I'm not exaggerating. The design on this is phenomenal. He makes a copy of something that's dead. He brings it back, but it only stays a short time. Even the flavor text, she will come back to me. Jeez, the card's amazing and so well designed, but so sad. It's so, so sad. 
We only had two cards today, but I'm already emotionally drained. That Felden, though. What do you want to think about the previews we saw today? Are you excited for the Commander 2014 release? I know I am. Seriously, if the designs are this in-depth across the board, I don't know how you could not be excited. Just get pumped. Spoilers all week. Leave a comment below letting me know what you think. As always, subscribe for the latest and most reliable Magic the Gathering information you could ever need. This is the Mana Source. I'm Wedge. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.